Kansas is sitting at the top of the AP poll. They won their 13th consecutive Big 12 title. What's their biggest weakness going into the tournament? Well, the main thing is that they don't have much in the front court. They are playing a four guard alignment. Uh, their five slash four man is Landon Lucas, who's not you know really much of a post scorer. Of course, of course, post scores don't really exist anymore in college or in right. the NBA for that matter. And then along those lines, Seth is uh, they're not very deep. Uh, they they basically only go seven deep, and you know I don't think that's a problem in terms of fatigue. But you can have injuries, you can have foul trouble, you can have matchup issues. Guys get sick, guys have a bad night. Um, so their lack of size uh, inside and the lack of depth overall in, in the front court, in particular, if they lose, I think that will be the reason. Now, yesterday, uh, Maggie Gray, our co-host, uh, caught up with Jay Wright, head coach, number two team in the country, reigning champs, Villanova where he was asked to compare this year's team's mental toughness to last year's. Let's listen in and hear what he had to say. We're getting there. We're getting there. Um, this, this team right now, this senior class, Josh Hart, Chris Jenkins, Daryl Reynolds, they have never lost back-to-back -back games in their career, ever. We just lost to Butler uh, two games ago, and then we came back on senior night to beat Creighton and win the regular season championship. Their response to that Butler loss is starting to make me believe they might have that same mental toughness. You can see the confidence. What do you think, Seth? Do you believe? I do. I'm, I'm a big believer in Villanova, Seth. Now, you know, toughness, confidence, the knowledge uh, of what to do in tight situations, of course, the fact that they've been there and succeeded, won a national championship. I think those are, are major assets heading into the NCAA tournament. Right. My however is that last year's team had one thing that this year's team uh, does not have, and that is a legitimate five-man and Daniel O'Sheffield. But if it's a question of not only mental toughness, but just the knowledge and court uh, basketball IQ of, of knowing what to do and how to win the NCAA tournament, Villanova is as good a bet as there is in this tournament.